I'm already having a time. Uh, this fat on the floor was already broken, so it's just like all gone and everywhere. And I'm sad because I love that highlighter. <sighs> everybody so this is the tutorial that I don't know if I'm gonna be hosting about my Court of Frost and Starlight inspired makeup really have no idea if I'm gonna post this or if I'm gonna wear this shirt either but it's a sparkly purple shirt and it felt like it suited the mood anyways so first I go in with my smash 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 more smash box photo finish primer I was so sad because this was on sale the other day and it was already sold out when I got up and like I just got an email I don't know an hour beforehand or something like that and yeah because you know how popular this stuff is if you don't make up it's very very popular smash it on my face and so I Whenever I did makeup, whenever I've done makeup in the past, I always do my face and then the eyes and the brows and then the lips and like blush. So that's what I've always always done in the past. However, people like keep saying on YouTube and beauty gurus and stuff that you're supposed to do your eyeshadow first so that you don't have fallout and crap. Uh, but the last, but I did that just recently for the first time and my <laughs> eyeshadow. Oh, I messed it up with the eyeliner. I just had to like redo it all, but I'm gonna give it a shot today. Again, this is smart for me to be recording and not knowing what I'm doing because that's what I do. So I have a few palettes here. The thing that I wanna do for the eyeshadow is mostly blues with like sparkles and stuff. First, I'm gonna put on the Essence eyeshadow base. It's in the one that is supposed to be color intensifying. I like using this stuff just because I guess it like it says it's a base. Oh yeah, also a disclaimer, I'm not a beauty guru or a makeup knowledgeable person in the least. I enjoy doing it, but I'm not very good at it, so don't don't take my word as like holy grail stuff. What do I wanna go in with first? I seem to be missing one of my main eyeshadow brushes, which sucks because it was a Sephora one. <laughs> oh, goodbye, money. Anyways, I have these Smoky Eyes 20 Color Eyeshadow Palette from BH Cosmetics. I found it at a Marshall's. It was a fairly discounted price. So I just grabbed that puppy and yeah. I'm going in with the shade for the base. They don't have names, so. And I already have an eyeshadow base on, but I like putting a shadow over top of that in case I, I don't know, screw up and have lines of the liquidy stuff. Look at me, so professional. I'm just like shoving my face in the camera. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take off all this before I go to work because I don't need people making fun of me. <laughs> okay, then. You can make fun of me all you want. I know you do anyway. <laughs> so I'm gonna do in the center is I'm gonna be putting this nice light silvery shade on. Patting that in. With one of the brushes that I don't. I haven't somewhere. Okay, I like that. I'm making this up as I go. I don't have a plan for any of this stuff. I just kind of do what I do. I like that silvery base just because it reminds me of starlight and frost in a way. I just remembered all beauty gurus are like, you're supposed to do the, the, the outer crease before you do the inner lid thing and stuff. But that's the brush I'm missing is my creasing brush which sucks. I'm gonna use my blending brush for this and yeah I know I need to wash my brushes. They're kind of gross but I also have the eyes lips face palette from e.l.f. I got it for Christmas. Love it. I'm gonna use this 
a lighter gray shade on the outer crease. Kind of be a little bit of a smoky eye. And then also for the crease to kind of lighten up a bit and really add that nice blue that I want to do is I want, to, I'm not sure if I'm going to add this one or this one actually, give me a second. I'm going to go in with this darker blue from BH Cosmetics palette because it kind of reminds me of the night sky a little bit. That is really pigmented. That's nice. I don't know if you can see that. You can't see that, can you? Crap, man, that's blue. That is very blue. That's a disaster, but I'm going to fix it, I swear. It's a disaster. It's a disaster, that one. Where did I put my other brush? Oh my god. There it is. Found it. We're good. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to go in with a slightly lighter blue to lighten up a little bit. Holy cow, these are pigmented. Wow. I don't know if you can tell, but I haven't really used this palette all that much. Wow, that is blue. That, that, there's, there's blue on my eyelids now. Yeah. Okay, that's a thing. So I really do still want to have it smoky and darker, so I'm going to go back in with the darker color to fix this. Attempt to fix it. <laughs> I've got like eyeshadow right here. I don't know how I did that. My brush was not close to it. Oh my god. Beauty gurus are probably in pain from watching me. Now I've got most of that on, I'm gonna go back in with the Silver that I shouldn't have waited to do because that's me. Yeah. I was doing another silver before, but I'm gonna go in with the darker silver on the lid and I'll put the lighter silver on the inner corner. Oh my god, I have so much fallout everywhere. Oh, this is a good thing I did my face not yet. <laughs> Words. And there's that. Oh, I'm really gonna have to take some time to clean all this up. I don't know if you can see it or not. Holy cow, I have issues. I'm gonna go in with this lighter silver color. Yeah. I'm gonna use my fingers to put it on the inner corner of the eye. I feel kind of robotic right now. Maybe I should have done this for Evangeline Samos from uh, Warstorm. Uh, that's my current read right now. I'm really enjoying it too. Anyways, now I'm gonna have to blend the heck out of this. Oh my gosh, I look like I have a like a dark purpled eye. What's the name for that? I don't know. Black eye. I look like a black eye right now. I'm gonna do an under eye stuff later. Just not yet. Now I'm just going to clean up under here first. Because it's not really the look I'm going for. Exactly. Anyways, you see silvery stuff. Actually, before I do that, <laughs> I changed my mind again. <laughs> I'm going to add some more of the lighter silver onto the lids just because it did not blend as well as I thought it was going to. Many things. Oh boy. <sighs> I had to open my cabinet door and just move my tire viewing thing. I'm just like, oh my god, oh my god. And then I go ahead and screw it up a little bit. Because I'm doing it a lot. <laughs> oh more than I thought it did. Okay, so now that I'm done with the eyes, a nice dark starlight eyes. I'm gonna start with my face. I'll do the eyeliner later because I'm not using liquid liner this time. Because <laughs> I'm not stupid. Just seen the disaster that it was before I was bad, man. Oh, bad. Anyways, I'm going in with a L'Oreal Infallible Pro. No, I was going to say concealer. Foundation. And what's in the color? Classic Ivory. Dot my face. And then dot my face. Who oh, help? Oh. 
I would look in the viewfinder a bit more, but I don't trust that compared to the mirror that I have. I have a hair just sticking there. It's not moving from my forehead. Move. Move. Thank you. Like, I can't see the foundation or the colors very well in my viewfinder because I don't have proper lighting and stuff. So, yeah. You have to deal with an amateur here. I'm not going to do a very, like, solid job just because I'm only going to be wearing this for a quick video. Quick video, a book review video. <laughs> I still have one of my nose. And I don't even have my concealer with me. I'm a mess. Anyway, oh, yeah, I'm using a Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer in just the lightest shade, probably. In fair. Flair. <laughs> no, it's in fair. Because I stay up late at night, and so I have very dark circles under my eyes and stuff. I'm also breaking a little bit, so. Yeah. Just a little bit. I'm very lucky. I don't break out that easily. And I, I pat it with my finger because I don't like beating my under eye that much. Along with the Eyes, Lips, and Face palette from e.l.f. I underneath it has this thing. It's fun. So I'm going to use that for my contour. I go in with one of the lighter ones. Although I I'm gonna go in with a slightly darker one. I'm gonna go in with this one, the darker one that I usually use because, I, of course, Frost and Starlight's like everybody's sculpted and beautiful and, ooh, and I don't have those cheekbones, so. Mm -hmm. My fishy face. If anybody's wondering about these brushes, most of them are, a lot of them are from Sephora. I have a few from ColourPop, like this one and some of my other eyeshadow brushes. I love these, they're soft, they work really well and they're not as expensive as Sephora. Just saying Sephora, it's, I don't have a wonderful, I don't have that much money so uh, yeah, I have to make do with budgeted items and stuff. I'm like, I'm probably gonna get some more brushes from Colourpop in the future because of how nice and cheap they are. Once again with contour, I always go on with my finger. For my nose, at least. Hmm. Like. Okay. I try to make my nose look smaller, but that doesn't really happen very well. Ah, oh, crap. My battery's dying. I am going to have to do a whole lot more while my battery's charging, and I'm sorry everything will be fantastic, but I will explain at the end. Okay, so my battery's sufficiently charged now, so I finished my face thing. It's not great, I know, but it's it's something. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a writer and a reader and I'm a makeup artist, so yeah. So for eyeliner, I did this nice blue pencil. I don't know if you can see it. That's a blurry. Okay, I don't know. It's an eyeliner pencil. It's blue and it's a little, little bit sparkly. It's What's the color on it? This is the color Saffron. It's by Revlon Color Stay. It was quite nice. It was a little lighter than I was hoping, but it still worked for me. I have issues. And under for my under eye, my waterline, I used Rimmel's Scandalize uh, Waterproof Coal. This is a black sparkly one. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that. Thought that was nice because it reminded me of the sky, the night sky. It's called sparkling black, like it's to the point. And I put on some highlighter on 
I put on some highlight. Well, I put some highlighter on my face as well. I did my brows. Uh, put some eyeshadow on my brow, and then for my lips, I did this Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in the color HD Luster. I like it because it's like a lighty-ish purple and it had some sparkle metallicness to it which once again kind of reminded me of like the night sky although it came out a little darker than I thought was going to be on my lips so I added a little bit of a lighter shimmery shade of an eyeshadow to my lips and this is the complete look I know I don't remind you of the characters but I think I look kind of like a night sky and for Core Frost and Starlight. I'm ready for Winter Solstice. Yeah, that was my makeup tutorial for my makeup inspiration from A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Mass. Lovely book. You can watch my review. I'll put a link to it down below. And do all the things of subscribing, liking, commenting, all that things. Blah. I might do a makeup inspired thing by uh, based on Evangeline from Warstorm because I'm I like how her character is building up so far but we'll see how I actually like the rest of the book so keep reading keep writing and all of everybody bye